My name is Jacob Warren and welcome to this lesson on chopping for the double bass. Last time we focused on making the basic chop sound, which sounds a bit like a snare drum hit, and also the release stroke, which feels a little bit like an up bow. So today we're going to focus on actually playing the chop stroke uh, with some chords. Now I'm in solo tuning, uh, but I'll talk in note names so that we can both uh, play along together. Uh, we're going to play a nice E minor chord uh, wherever you can find it on the bass, preferably somewhere where you can actually hold down the note, so maybe not the open E string. We're going to just learn a basic groove. When I'm constructing a groove, I like to map out all of the things that are going to happen on all of the different subdivisions, and then I can improvise from there and kind of build off of it. So this one we're going to do is just a basic halftime groove, and it's going to be eight eighth notes long. And it's going to consist of quite a few played notes and one chop stroke. The first four eighth notes are just going to be played. So you'll see I put them in a nice playing position and I keep my flat bow here. One, two, three, four. And now uh, beat five or eighth note five is going to be the downstroke of the chop. Six is going to be the upstroke. And then seven and eight are going to be two more played notes. So together really slow sounds like this. One. Two, here we go. Now, it doesn't sound like much that slow, but if we speed it up to a tempo where it feels a little bit more natural, you'll start to hear the groove. So let's try that together a little bit. One, two, here we go. Alright, good. Let's try it a little bit faster. One, two, here we go. Using the chop stroke in tandem with played notes uh, is a great way of providing an accompanimental texture that can provide both harmony uh, and rhythm for another musician. So I hope you enjoyed this quick lesson and stay tuned for more. Thank you.